Hey guys, how you doing? First time, long time. Uh, welcome back to Dark Souls 3, motherfuckers. Uh, it's kind of go time. You know? It's kind of go time for the profane capital. Here we are, once again. We're about to go fuck some shit up. It's great. It's great. We're having a great time. Uh, we are close to being able to use our fancy ass new... Uh, oh, we, there was a whole fucking area we could have explored over there. Alright, immediately we're starting off by going back up this long-ass thing. Great, you'll love to see it. Uh, there's just way more to explore up here. I think, I think we can get some Twinkling Titanite, because I want to use my axe. That's what I want to do, before we get to this area down there. Because really, we go down that bridge, and we go in that church. And that's where we fight the next boss. He's, he's pretty darn close. Uh, this area is, like, deceptively beautiful. This church, like, being in this mountain, kind of reminds me of in uh, Last Crusade, uh, which is obviously uh, Indiana Jones' Last Crusade, uh, where they end up where they find the, uh, the fucking Holy Grail. It's just that, like, really, the Temple of the Crescent Moon, or whatever it's called. Alright, ours are, all right, we got items down here, please. I would like an item. This, it just seems like there should be an item here, you know? It just seems like there should be. No? Okay, well. What a fucking waste of a design area, then. Joke's on you. Alright. So, it looks like this is... This is an area I think I can get to, right? It's uh, to get the, the item that's in here. I think, yep, right here. Rusted coin. What fucking useless item? Like, who even who even cares about rusted coins? All right, let's go. Um. Oh, hello, hello, hello. All right. Huh. I like to play the Final Fantasy VII battle music. <laughs> Oh, kid. Fuck, my dude. Oh, I'm just fucking whiffing. Here, let me introduce you to the sword that I have no idea how to hit with. Alright. Yeah, that's what we call getting bodied, my man. Getting bodied. Alright. So it looks like there's a hole up there. So I'm not gonna go that way. We're gonna go this way. Um, I don't fall for these games. Meaning, I fall for them quite... Okay, so we need one more Twinkling Titanite to be able to use the axe. Hello, my guy. Hello, my guy. How you feeling? Yeah, there we go. Give it to me. Mmm, we got it. We can now use the axe, my dudes. We can now use the axe. Alright, we can go upgrade that bad boy. Rusted gold coin. See? They tried to trick you by going down into this swamp. We're not gonna, we're not gonna be tricked so easily. You can't trick me. I'm the gingerbread man. Oh, and then we immediately go into the swamp. Okay. Fair enough. So, this is the fucking dick swamp. Um, it's not my favorite. Can Do you think we can get, like, a punching attack on that guy? Probably not. Uh, let's get down onto this ground here. Because this, I think, will give you toxic. Like, Britney Spears toxic. Not just... Not just poison. Like, toxic. And that does a good bit of damage. Alright, let's get out of there. Oh! Oh, we got him. We got him from both ends. We got him from both ends. It's like that casting room couch. Alright, um... Let's get up here. Let's get up here. Go, 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 go! Not trying to get toxic. Toxic? Toxified? What's the past tense of the status effect of toxic? I do not want toxic. I would not like toxified. Toxification. Um, why am I the dumbest human on earth? Um, so I'm gonna we're gonna go in there in a minute, and I'm gonna show you that creature. Uh, but first, we're going to go kill this ma magey boy. Really? You're gonna hit me with your fucking fucking torch? Like what even? What weapon is this? What weapon do you even have? Come on, just fucking swing harder. There we go. This bag of dicks. Alright. Got Logan. So his name was Logan, apparently. Alright, fair enough. What a fucking dumb name. Why don't you get like an adult name? 
Alright. Um, do not want to fall off this thing. Let us... Sneak through? Can we get onto that? Okay, so this is what we're about to fight. This fucking... Look at this thing. This is how my dog sleeps. Uh, on her fucking back. I, I could point the camera and like, this is literally my dog sleeping right now. Is uh... Sh th this, what we're looking at. Look at this. You can see it on my other monitor. Right? This creature that we're about to fight is literally my dog. Except it has a hand for a face and it's like a whole thing. Uh, I apologize for fucking with my camera. Last minute. Alright. So, let's go kill this hand-faced miscreant. And now my dog is like really offended I was talking about her. Oh, this thing is like, it's, this is like the ugliest thing I've ever seen. This is the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, look at this thing. Ugh. Ugh, and it gave me shit. Like, literally, it just gave me dog shit. Well, it's not a dog, but it just gave me shit, you know? Are you, uh... Every fucking time. I hate this. I do not remember. There was not this many mimics in Dark Souls 1. Like, I feel like there was maybe four, like maximum four. Someone Google that. Question of the day. How many, how many mimics were in Dark Souls 1? I feel like it was not this many. All right. So this leads us out uh, back the way we came. What's the whole fucking point of this area? This leads to nothing. Okay. Uh, let's go back up on the roof, I guess. That's where we were going. Yeah. Let us see what was back up on the roof. Um, oh, it was this way. Right. Knew it. I knew it because I played this game before. <laughs> sorry, guys. Yeah, uh, sorry. Uh, it is not a blind playthrough. So this leads us back to this man, um, who we kind of skipped before. Be wary from behind. I mean, that's just good advice at all times. Um, so we probably don't even need to go and do this part anymore. Yeah, because um, we've already unlocked all the shortcuts and everything. So yeah, we can just fucking skip that. We don't need to get the Jailer Key. I think I already have the Jailer Key as well. So there must be two things of the Jailer Key. So you can go, I guess, into Irithyll Dungeon? Oh, no, because I'm down in here. So I do need to go that way. Okay. I understand. Or I can Homer Bone uh, item. And then, because then we can upgrade the axe. And then start using the axe in the new area. That sounds like the plan. That sounds like the plan, Stan. My dog really did not like me making fun of her. She did not. She left. She left my living room and is now in my bedroom sleeping. She's, she was not, not a fan of that. All right. I don't think I have any more Estes shards. Let's go check that, though. Ah, just what neat. Brother, be careful. Nope. All right. Reinforce my weapon. Where's my axe? Here we go. 315 to 209 damage. Yep. So now we need the slab. So this does 235, 246. I am in law school. Therefore, I don't know how to do math. We are going to pull up the old calculator, though. Uh, and we're going to do it, obviously, live on here. So we know which does more damage. All right. So this one right now is 235 plus the 246 scaling damage. So... That one does 481 damage total. This one, on the other hand, 315 to 209. Yeah, this one is 524 damage. So we have our new weapon, our guys. All right, let's see if we can wield it and not be overborn. Oh, look at us. Fucking dope. All right, so we can swing it twice. That's the that's the downside from this one to the other weapon is that we can only swing it a couple times. 
but let's uh let's go test that out. Let me uh ah. uh because I really shouldn't be like swinging like crazy anyways. Uh, let's sell all of our souls. I think this will be what I need to get two levels. We'll put it into stamina. Level up. Touch the darkness within me. Ah. Uh, I think it's endurance. Right? Yeah. 106. Alright, let's see. Let's get back to full. One and two. Uh, so kind of. I can almost get three full ones. Let's go. Let's go test it out. Do we have an unbed bone shard? No, we don't. All right. Let's go travel back to the profane capital. Now we're going to go back down to the church and um, we're going to try out our new weapon. I'm pretty excited. If I really hate it, I'll be a little sad. That's okay. It's okay. It's worth it. I just want to try it out. The Dragon Slayer's axe. That's pretty cool. Is it as cool as my fucking great axe? I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Who could have foreseen that? It doesn't count. That one doesn't count. That one's not on me, okay? That, who, who could have foreseen that? Like, I just walked past a fucking ladder. That wasn't my fault, okay? It wasn't my fault. All right. Now that we haven't died here yet, um, let's continue down. All right. So, we got another one of these boys. Let me tell you. I'm going to skip past you. I don't want to fight you on this bridge. That seems like a recipe for a bad idea, you know? Large, wary warrior. Okay. Okay. So, we have like hordes of treasure in here. And these creepy ladies staring at nothing. Uh, let's go test it out. Wow, you do good damage. Wow! It just feels so fucking powerful. Like, they feel me. They can fucking feel me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I question if I'm going to be able to use this on, like, enemies that aren't slow. Like, all these enemies are kind of slow. Wow. Like, this does, like, so much damage, though. Yeah, like, I... That was three attacks. It's not bad. And I got his fucking flame hammer. That was not bad. Alright. So, the shit out here... Okay. Let's go clear up this cup. Hello. I really want to get... Yeah, we're going to put some more thing into Endurance so I can keep slamming this. I'm a big fan of this damage, though. It seems like if I go get that item, these things will come to life. I don't know if it's worth all that. Um, I am, however, going to run in uh, and show you guys Yorm. So this is Yorm the Giant. The way you beat him is to get the Storm Ruler weapon. Which is by his throne. It's a special weapon that you have to utilize, like, the magic charge ability uh, to be able to do damage. You'll see. I actually... I, I'm not a big fan of, like, puzzle bosses, so to speak. But, like, this is one done really, really, really well. I really like it. Uh, let's see if we can do this live. Storm Ruler. There we go. Alright. Alright, charge it up. Ooh. Okay. Alright. 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 Isn't this fucking dope? Like, look at this. Boom! Fucking... You headshot him. Oh, yeah. You do not just fucking tank the damage. Like, there's no reason to do that. Am I charged up? Am I charged up and ready to go? Okay. Apparently. Um, I just need to get away. Yeah, this is fucking awesome. Oh, I hit him. Okay. Alright, charge it up again. Now he's charged up. Alright, come on. Come on, come on. Wakaka! Get fucked, my dude. Alright. So we gotta we gotta hit him two more times. Oh! Sweet crap.
Christmas. I love this. Yeah, like, it's... You can think it's, like, easy, but, like... Ugh. But it's still awesome, you know? Like, it's just, like, that fucking awesome factor. I should have probably showed you guys the actual, like, damage you do... Like, with a normal weapon. Alright, we need to immediately unequip this. Cool. Norm the Giant. So this is going to take us... Um, to an unkind boss. We get two bosses right back to back. So if you recall from the very beginning of the game, we met a lady who gave us the Way of the Blue um, item in the church. Uh, we met her in a church, and she sent us to go kill um, Vort of the Boreal Valley. Uh, so we are getting teleported back to her because she is not doing so hot. We need to go kill the final Lord of Cinder to get to the, uh, the final boss. And so this is us getting teleported uh, to go finish that. So we get immediately teleported uh, to fight the next boss, which is the Dancer of the Boreal Valley, who is super tough. I'm hoping I can do it with my axe. I've never done it with this slow of a weapon before, but, like, this weapon's super fucking dope. Oh. The Dragon Headstone. Yeah, you can get a lot of cool, like, weird fucking items in this game. Big fan of that. Um, Prince Lothric is in your, is hands. In your hands. I have a lot of souls. Save his, soul. save his soul. All right, I'm going to Tell fucking... What he must. Alright, I'm going to... We are going to immediately homer bone out of here once... I'll, I'll let us watch the fucking boss fight. Because uh, it's not too bad to get right back here. Because I, I don't want to lose 50k souls when I can spend that money on... Um, when I can spend that money on uh, more endurance so I can swing my axe a couple more times. So this is awesome. So this is the, like, the little douchebag sister of um, Vort of the Boreal Valley. This person is also of the Boreal Valley, but is not as kind. This one is much, much meaner, but much cooler. And has great music, too. I'll, uh, I'll probably turn the music up a little bit uh, so y'all can hear it. Yeah, this. She is unkind. Oh. Look how fucking... It's like a Tim Burton character. Yeah, we're getting out of here immediately to go spend these souls. Out. I'm out. I'm fucking tapping out so I can go spend these souls. You kidding? They make you do two boss fights in a row? Fuck that. I mean, granted, Yorm is... Yorm is easy. Like, I'm not saying Yorm isn't easy. But he's awesome. I love Yorm. All right, so we we got Yorm's soul. Let me see how many well, souls I need to level up. Very well. Then take no These sovereign souls. So I will need almost 30k to level up. Let's put another one into endurance so we can swing a little more. Farewell, Ashen One. Ah. 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 I'm sure you guys definitely don't hate that by now, right? All right, sell all these. So I'll need... Did I say almost 20,000 to level up? Ashen Fuck. One, be sure to breathe. I know. Let me check my stats so I can see. Uh, it's almost 30,000, so I could probably sell some other items in the meantime that I'm not going to use. Um... While this is going on, I hope the editor, who doesn't exist, plays in the background every time I need to use an item that I don't have because I sell everything. I don't know why I do this. Like, there's some stuff, like Titanite Scale. I never use those. Like, what does that even do? It's heavy Gem I'll keep. Sharp Gem we're not using. That's not our build for this playthrough. Um, these spells I don't use. Um, Alright. This should be... This should be enough. All right, so we are going to get a little more stamina. 
Now we have 20. Now can I hit three times, do we think? One, two, we can. All right, uh, hopefully we will never actually try and hit three times because Lord knows I shouldn't. All right, let us go back. We are going to travel to, um, I guess we'll travel back to Vort and then just run straight up, you think? Yeah, and we'll avoid all the enemies. All right, hopefully we can kill Dancer. I would say Dancer is another one that is another hard one, like another hard boss. Ooh, it's, uh, yeah, all the bosses from here on out are like not super easy. Uh, we have this, we have the Twin Princes, um, the Dragon Slayer armor is pretty tough. Um, Soul of Cinder is the very final boss. He is, he is also pretty hard. Uh, and then some of the DLC too. All right, let's go run back. Now, something really cool about this game is you can look up on the the, the various subreddits for it. Um, there's a lot of cut content. Just seriously, uh, there was a lot of cut content for this game. Are you just just fucking like I I'm beyond you now. I have I have leveled past you now. Don't need to behave this way. All right. And immediately I get fucking grabbed. We are not starting off very well. Um Uh I don't want to immediately die. I would like to uh Okay, so we've whiffed twice. And I can immediately get grabbed again. Christ. Alright. Maybe I shouldn't lock on. Alright. We do not... We do not do as much damage as I thought we were. Okay. Slow. I'm moving so slow right now. Okay. Oh, sweet. Oh. Oh. I don't even know what the fuck just happened. Oh, I was moving so slow. All right. Let's try it again. I wasn't really blocking. I guess I could try and um, not use my shield. <sighs> okay. We'll try it one more time. I mean, we're going to try it a bunch of times because we're only 20 minutes in, but come on. Let's get back to it. Yeah, this boss is a massive dick. Um, I guess, yeah, one of the first times I'm really experimenting with this weapon is uh, <laughs> on a hard-ass boss. If, it's, uh, if it becomes a problem, uh, I might try and switch my weapon back just to something I'm a little more familiar with. Um, so I don't have to worry about it. All right, let's try it. Hello. Hell, it hit me through the fog gate. Love it. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, that was a that was a quick one. That was a uh, that was a super quick one. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um. I gotta think about what I'm doing different. I mean, I've died to this boss plenty of times. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I just I, you got to learn from all your deaths. What did I, what did I do there? Um, I mean, I definitely took too much damage too early, but that's a uh, that's a dumb like critique of myself. I took too much damage and didn't win. That's a riveting discussion. All right. Nope. I fucking I hate you. I hate you so much. Oh, you are the worst of all. 
Okay, let's try it one more time. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying we're trying it only one more time, but... Okay, so it grabs... I need to watch for the grab. Did it one-shot me? Oh, it one-shot me. Cool. Alright, great. <laughs> I mean, it's good to know that, like, if I get grabbed, I'm dead. Alright. Hmm. It just teaches you to dodge more. Doable, doable, doable. All right, come on, loading screens. Let's fucking go. Um, so I could ember to give me a little more health. I have like 20 of them. I don't really want to ember this early on in a difficult fight, though. I want to, like, if we, if we start getting, like, real close, like, if I start getting these dodge timings down, don't you? I hate you. I hate you so hard. Oh, I hope your mother, I hope your mother gets cancer of the mouth. Just, mm, all the unkindly things, you Lothric bitches. Nope, don't, no sir. No sir. Okay. It fucking sneaks around. Alright, so we are like... Alright, so... I think I may change my weapon up. Yeah, I think I'm gonna change my weapon up a little bit. Alright. Because this one, it attacks to, like, really close to me, and I think I need, like, a swoop and attack. I think, I think that's what's different. I mean, there's a lot different. There's a lot I'm doing wrong here, but I'm going to try and change my weapon up and see how that goes. All right. All right. Damn. <sighs> this is a tough one. This is a really, really tough one. All right. But we can do this. I've done this fight before. See, like, this one swoops. And I think that's going to be a little more beneficial on this particular boss fight. Because this boss fight, like, this boss moves a lot. Uh, let me switch back to the shield. Because these guys are absolute dicks. Alright. Hi, Lothric Knight. I'm running past you. Leave me alone, please. Leave me alone. I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask for this. Okay. All right, let's try one more time. He says for the ninetieth time. Ah! Oh! Dodge the wrong way. You got to dodge to the left. Why didn't that kill me this time? I'm not even like hitting. Like, where's where's my body? Okay. All right. Okay. That didn't kill me this time. Do I take more damage with the Black Knight weapon? He grabbed me twice and it didn't kill me. Do I take more damage with the Black Knight weapon? It doesn't make any any sense. It doesn't make any goddamn sense. I did worse. I somehow lived longer but did just as bad. I don't I don't understand. Uh let me let me look at my weapons again. Is one of the things about the Black Knight Great Axe is you take more damage? This unique... Used to face chaos demons. Alright. It doesn't indicate I take more damage or anything. Alright. So this guy... Do I have any rings that... Deal with like frost damage. Increase frost resistance. Let's try that. This guy I think does frost damage. I'm desperate. I'm desperate to try fucking anything. I don't need this guy to heal more souls. I need to beat him. Alright, let's try it one more time. Fuck you knights. Fuck you knights. And you're just like, wow. Wouldn't it be nice if we didn't have to fight these knights? And I'm like, yeah, it would be nice. That wouldn't be Dark Souls. That wouldn't be the Dark Souls we know and hate, you know. Ugh. I'm gra like I'm I'm dodging the wrong way on that. Alright, it still does massive damage, so. Let me take it forever and a fucking day to get up. Okay. Okay. I 
just like can't even breathe right now. Okay. Oh! Oh! Yo! Yo, sir. Ma'am, sorry. Okay. So this is phase two. This is where he's gonna do his fucking fucking crazy attack. Alright. We should probably use our shield more. Can I use this to block? Oh my god. Oh, I can't even fucking see! I can't even fucking see! I hate this boss. I hate this boss. Bruh. This is some bullshit. Did better, though. I don't think the frost ring helped even a little, but okay. Uh, I wonder if I have anything to put on this sword. I do think switching to the sword was the right call, though. And sometimes that's what you gotta do. You have to, uh, that's the point of these games, is you have to adjust your adds lacerating effect. I don't think that's super effective. Lightning could be effective. Gold pine bundle would be effective against this boss, I think. Um, that's Dark Souls for you. You gotta learn to adjust your your play style to whatever you're about to face, because you can't brute force your way into this. Okay. Hello. No. <sighs> These fucking bags of dicks. Alright. Alright, let's apply it. Oh, this applies. It applies super quickly. That's uh, terrible to know. Okay. I need to not just fucking swing wildly. Hello. Alright. So after he does the fucking... Oh! Ground attack. Oh. I don't have my fucking... Uh, sword on lightning anymore. Nope. Oh, sweet Christmas. Get out. Get out. I need to get out. I need to get out. Let's fucking ember. Let's fucking go. Oh, he fucking tracked me. Nope. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Let's get in. Oh, back up. No, I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. I'm so fucking close. Don't, don't, don't get excited. That's how you fucking lose these games. Get up. You hit him twice. Did I kill him? Oh! Yeah, baby. Holy shit. Oh. We were learning. That's what we were doing. That's why you love these games. Oh my god. Let me go fucking... I need to take a nine pound shit right now. Holy... Oh my god. Yeah. Let's go back to Fire League Shrines. <laughs> Thanks for coming, guys. Uh, where you can listen to me. Um, yeah. So some weapons work better for some bosses. I'm gonna switch back to the axe. We'll we'll keep that going. If and if I'm having a bad time, we'll go back to the sword. That's okay. That's why we got both. Oh my god, having a fucking conniption fit. Oh my god. Alrighty. Welcome, speak. Speak yeah, thy heart's desire. I need like my heart's beating a million miles a minute right now. Um, we're gonna get a little more vigor. I think we're gonna take this up one more to 30. Uh -huh. I really, I don't need, well, 10k, it's actually not, not all that many souls. There's some, like, speedrunners who can kill that boss, like, at level 1. I mean, there's people who kill all the, all of these bosses at level 1, by the way. Like, that is just a thing that people do. And I think it's psychotic and telling of a broken person. Uh, but what the fuck do I know? Okay. So now we are going to go up this church and we're going to go investigate it. Uh, there's a couple side bosses that we get to go kill and a really, really cool side boss that we're going to go kill. Um, and then we'll kill the twin princes. And then that'll be it. It's pretty exciting. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm just like I feel lightheaded. Like I was fighting him for like 20 minutes and I just fucking killed him. Ugh. And that's what I'm saying. You got to you got to change the way you play these games to how it wants to be played sometimes. I placed this basin down in this suicidal man. Is this the player from Dark Souls 1? I never even noticed that he was like pushing the sword into his own neck. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I want to know the story in this. Like, what the fuck, man? This very, like, Resident Evil type, type of thing. And then we get a ladder. How very nice. It comes down in segments for me. This is a good ladder. Alright. These next few areas are not so kind. Honestly, everything from here on out is not kind. Alrighty. So the first area we're gonna go, I think we go left. This is the consumed king's garden. This is the, the side boss area. And the first boy we fight is one of these cathedral knights. We haven't seen you since the church. My guy, it's been so long. How you feeling? You're looking good. I am bolder and more beautiful since we last met. Uh, I have more health. I have a bigger axe. Okay, you fucking buff up all you want. I'm still gonna fucking body you. Yeah, see, that's why we get the extra stamina. So I can keep swinging away. I keep swinging away, my guy. We're gonna take this elevator down. Uh, this next area is a bag of dicks. I believe it's a lot of toxin. I believe it's a lot of toxin, uh, and the boss is a thunder cunt as well. That is the absolute truth. Estes Shard, that was worth it. Anything here? No. We are going to go get the shortcut, though, because I hate this area. All right. Got another tight net chunk. Got another chunky monkey. Oh, yeah, so you remember these guys from, like, the very beginning of the game? Welcome back. Welcome back, Carter. Uh, that show from, I don't know, fucking 80s with... I don't, I don't remember. I'm, I'm too young for that. I'm sorry. Are we going to fight any of these guys? Absolutely not. Are you going to be mad at me that I'm doing this? Maybe. But you know what? Uh, you got to learn to play games for you sometimes. Which is funny that I'm playing a game exclusively for other people. That I'm saying, you know, sometimes you got to play games for you. Uh, and, you know, I just, I mean that in a loving way. That I'm going to go make sure I get shortcuts so that... I don't spend 20 minutes dying to the same goddamn boss. Uh, not that we're on any kind of time schedule. Okay. So this gets us back up here. I believe there's like smaller dudes, right? Who's shooting me? Oh, you guys. Wow. I do good damage now. God, this is like... Oh, we got a Buffy boy. Where's the Buffy boy? Oh, yeah, you see him? I still do more damage than you can buff, though. It's like a, it's like I'm getting reunited with, like, high school friends, you know? Like, I, I played with y'all in the beginning of the game, and now I've gone through such a long, harrowing experience, and... I come back and a lot of the mobs that I used to fight, you know, they're pregnant now and they never left their hometown. And it's kind of sad, but you still, you know, you don't want to be, you know, you feel too bad for them. So you just, you're, you're happy for them. Because at the end of the day, that's what you should be. You should be happy for people. Like, you're happy for this guy. You know, like Fred. We expected so much out of Fred. Fred was going to be a doctor. Fred didn't become a doctor. Fred works at the CVS, and we love him anyways, because he's still he's still in the healthcare field. And when he says he's in the healthcare field, you let him have that one. Because, you know, you could correct him and be like, hey, you know, CVS, like, you, come on. But 
we let him have that. Because what's the harm? Who cares? It's Fred. You like Fred. You know? Alright. Let's, uh, let's go to Svei. I'm finding, like, all these new areas to go. Like, I, I don't think I've ever been this way. Dragon scale ring? What are you? Hello. Waka! Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> That's such a good time. I'm like, let me turn into Jabba the Hutt. Ho, ho, ho. Bring me Solo and the Wookiee. Oh, oh, oh. Alright. I know I need to go around collecting some of these items because I believe some of those items are Titanite chunks. And I really do want the chunks. Are you feeling me yet? You are not feeling me. Go! Ho oh, ho. Welcome to my zone, bitch. Ho! Oh. It's got fucking Street Fighter combos. It's got Legend of Chun Li in here. Oh man! All right, good for you. You do you, my dude. Like fucking Billy Badass over here. What about you? What do you got? What you got for me? Oh, he's like, he's ready to go too. What is up with these fucking these dudes on fucking PCP today? Is this because I was making fun of Fred? These are Fred's boys. I wasn't speaking bad about people who never left their hometown. I bet that's fine. Ugh. I mean, I didn't leave my fucking hometown until I was like 25. Ha! Could you fucking just... Do, or, why are you still behaving this way? Why are you still behaving this way? I just don't understand. Like, just calm down. Magic stone play ring, cool. All right. You hear these noises? Let there be silence. Lightning required ahead. This is another boss that moves a lot. Alright. I think I'm going to switch. I think I'm just going to like keep using my other sword for bosses. This is just... I know that I know this boss is a giant thunder bitch. Um, do I have a better... Because these don't do all that much. Apparently not. Large temporary boost to stamina speed. Who can I summon here? We're not going to summon yet. We're not going to summon yet. Why would we summon? Alright. This is Osiris. Osiris is a dragon kin. Did you think his voice sounded like that? You didn't. You. you didn't. Of the power of my beloved Ocelot, child of dragons. Well, I will not give him up. So he's blind. He is all that I have. And he's crazy. We can't decide if he... Because he, he thinks he's protecting a baby. An invisible baby. And so if you remember from my Dark Souls 1 playthrough, there's Crossbreed Priscilla who turned invisible because she was half dragonkin. So there's the theory is that there is a baby there. It's just invisible because it's dragonkin and it's its its child. So it's the whole thing. Like, I don't I, I don't really know what to tell you. It's a... Uh... So this is what I was talking about. That this boss fucking moves a lot. Where have you gone? Are you hiding from me? Oh, the Lord! You were born a child of dragons. Oh, no. Oh, God, I'm getting fucking. I stood in the wrong spot. So, this guy also will. Uh, I wish I could cut off uh, his tail. So, he does that, and it's like super hard to dodge. Oh! I mean, you, you kind of feel bad for him, to be honest. Like, he's trying to protect his kid or something. It's not exactly clear. I'd say feel bad, but I am trying to make him. I need to get away from his face. Okay, we're not doing terribly. So now he's much more of a beast. This is his second form. He's much more of a beast now. He's, he's dropped his, like, scepter thing. Holy shit. All right. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm super happy I changed weapons. Oh shit, 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 drink. Yeah, you do not want to be... Uh, you don't want to be, like, remotely on any low health near him. Because he fucking swivels with that. And can fucking body you super quick, super quick. That's what I'm talking about. Man, one after another. One after another today. Killed him on the fucking first try, too. That's a first for me. I've never killed him on the first try. Oh, I feel sick. All right. <laughs> Where's his bonfire? Oh, it's up here. Oh, that's the way we came. So now we're going to go into all optional territory. It's really cool optional territory, though. And it's really tough optional territory. All right, how many chunks do I have? I think I needed, I believe, six or eight to upgrade my weapon. So, not enough. Uh, yeah, let's let's go back to the bonfire. Um, and then I'll probably get to the, ne the bonfire after this one. Before the next boss, the next boss. You talk about, like, Street Fighter combos? That's this next boss. Um, just a little hint. We've fought him before. Uh, he was not so not so kind, and he's not so kind anymore. Uh, that's the problem. He is still an absolute asshole. Welcome. Speak Welcome. line, hot desire. All right, so we got twenty of that. We got we got enough vigor. I guess we can keep pumping into strength. We'll go maybe to fifty. That seems like a lot. Uh, yeah, let's see how many large titanites. Oh, Great Rat is back, or whatever his name is. Oh, hello. He had a gander. Yeah, Grey Rat. Alright. So he... You can send him off to go pillage, and he'll come back with shit that you can buy. None of it is any good by the point I've gotten to him, but that's fine. You can... As... Oh. Grey Rat's Bye. cool. I like Grey Rat a lot. Alright, let's see how many... Cool. Uh, reinforce. So for our boss sword... We, need, oh, we only need two more chunks. Not bad. Uh, I'll probably go off screen and go uh, get some of the items that we skipped past right before Osiris. Um, I think some of those are chunks. And so I'll go stock up on some chunks, uh, and then I'll upgrade my sword before we fight the next boss, which is Champion Gundir. So the first boss we fought in this game, the tutorial boss, is called Iudex. Udex Gundir, whatever. I don't know how to pronounce it, but... Uh, Ayudex Gundir, and so this is Champion Gundir. This is actually an interesting area where we go to. Like, I don't, I don't exactly know if it's like al alternate reality. You, just you'll see, you'll see. It reminds me a lot of um, the Nightmare Frontier from Bloodborne. Not not in so much of like its content or its significance, but. Are you alive? No. You bleed, but you're not alive. All right. Um, and not so much like the context, but just like the vibe it gives off. It's just because it just seems like it shouldn't exist, you know? So this is a snake person. Uh, we're going to be fighting more of them later uh, with the Path of the Dragon. Uh, I might as well equip that now. Uh, let me see. Switch this out for Path of the Dragon. Uh, and we're going to take out joy, because there's no joy in this game. Um, I can hear my dog. Alright, so now we have this. Are you, uh, nope, you're good. Your boy can dig that. The Titanite scale. This seems like it should be a illusion. It's not, though. But I'll tell you what is an illusion. This boy. And so this is interesting. Bravery required up ahead. Visions of jumping. The untended graves. This is an interesting part of the game right here. Um, and I'll show you why. So, you come up here, get a couple of the items, like, oh, that's cool, that's whatever. And you're like, oh, this kind of 
this cup looks familiar. And it's because this is where we started the game. Like, this is, if you remember in the, the other world, that way was the... Uh, the fucking uh, crystal lizard that I died to. That I still haven't beaten. Uh, bodied him. Large Titanite Shard. Uh, so yeah, things are a little harder now. Uh, in the dark world, I guess is what this is. I don't know. Like, I honestly have no idea. It's just weird. And I like it. So uh, we'll pick back up in the dark world, I guess. Um, so welcome to Final Fantasy VI Dark World and uh, Breath of the... Uh, not Breath of the Wild, but Link to the Past. All right. Everybody have a good day. We're going to go ch kill J uh, Champion Gundir. And then we're going to start closing out this game. Like, we're, we're making really great progress. So everybody have a great day. Go do our podcast, whatever. At this point, this is mostly a YouTube channel. So have fun and have a great day. I'll see you next week.